Hello, hello. <clears throat> What's up? What's up, everybody? How is everybody doing? Um, I think I, uh, I think I'm live. Sierra Club, I see you. Well, hello, hello. It's been a minute. Um, it's just, uh, very interesting to be back. Um, so thank you guys all. It's been a crazy year. Um, but I'm so honored to be here, uh, to join in with you all and share, share with you, you know, what I love, my art and art for everybody. Um, so, uh, just welcome. This is the, this is our, uh, Earth Day special. We have two classes. This is one of two classes that we have. This is the first one. We're going to be celebrating Earth Day with a drawing that I'm gonna do with all you all. And then I'm doing another one uh, next Tuesday in Spanish for all my Spanish speakers. Um, Carlos, <clears throat> eh, for all my Spanish speakers, please tune in, tune in um, el martes. El próximo martes tengo un clase en español. Listo? Eh, pues bueno, saludo a todos. It's so good to see you. Um, so let's start this off I don't want to keep you waiting. Uh, let's start this off and let me get uh, Sierra Club to come in and jump on and say hello. Let's see, I have some people requesting. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, let's not that one. Let's see. Let's see, hold on one second. Sierra Club, I'm trying to get you on here. Give me one second, everybody. You know, technical difficulties are always part of that. Everybody's trying to go live. Don't go live. I'm trying to get Sierra Club to go live. Brian, I see you. What's up? Okay, Sierra Club, I'm trying to get you on here. But let's see if I can get you connected. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So everybody, I have um, my good friend Jenny, who is like the digital strategist for Sierra Club, has been helping make all this happen. And she's just like moving all the parts and just making sure everything goes smooth. So I'm gonna have her come in, we're gonna do a little intro and then we're gonna start drawing. Cool? It's so good to see you. Okay, Jenny. Jenny, hello. Hello, Jenny, how's what it an going? intro. <laughs> How are you? What up? Oh. <laughs> oh. I think your connection might be a little choppy. Can you hear me? I'm here. Okay, great. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Like um, about, about this Earth Day project and why you guys got me and what's so important about Earth Day. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you if it's not all breaking up. But if it is breaking up, it's all good. Um, uh, Jenny has got me here to be part of this Earth Day celebration, <clears throat> which is coming up on the 22nd. Uh, it's part of like a 1 billion people are taking action for, uh, for Earth Day. So Jenny left, let's see, maybe uh, we can get this happening one more time again. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are taking action for Earth Day. So this is what we're trying to get you guys to do. So if you're excited about uh, about Sierra Club, feel free to go get yourself a nice shirt to help support, or go out in the woods and be you know following CDC guidelines. Go out in the woods, uh, go for a hike, go for a bike ride, um, pick up trash. Uh, I used to go on a canoe canoe with my mom, and we would like go pick up trash out the river. Um, Anywho, uh, it's so good to see you guys all uh, showing love and tuning in. I guess, uh, I guess we'll just start with the start with the the workshop. Let me see. Let's see. I can get you in here, Sierra Club, one more time. Okay, let's try. Jenny, are you here? Okay, we're waiting. Jenny, you're back. Hey. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm here. Can you, can you hear me? Oh, you're breaking up a little bit. I'm good. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no, no problem. I guess if you just want to say a little hello from Sierra Club, that'd be great. Yeah. Everyone hear me now? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Perfect. <laughs> well, thanks for, for enduring our technical difficulties. This is why we're nature people, right? Um, yeah. Any, I am a staff member with Sierra Club. Moscow's gave me a, a little intro, which I appreciate very much. Uh, happy to talk a little bit about our Earth Day fundraiser that we do for Team Sierra. You can see how embarrassing we showed up wearing the same t-shirt. <laughs> but yeah. here we are, our, our fifth year that we're doing an Earth Day fundraiser um, for Team Sierra. And we're so excited to have Rodrigo here again, um, who helped us out last year as well. I have my, my drawing. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll all have one by the end of the hour. That's a um, classic, yeah. Oh, good, good turtle. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're hoping to raise $150,000 this Earth Month. Uh, that's our goal. And we'll leave some info in the chat box about how you guys can also get one of these pretty sweet Explore t-shirts, match Moss Paws and I. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're excited for Earth Month. We're going to be encouraging people to get outdoors all month or connect with nature in whatever way is, is fun and safe for you. Um, and we have a whole bunch of virtual activities happening all month. So this is our second class, this drawing class. And as um, Puerto Rico mentioned, we'll have one on Tuesday as well for Spanish speakers. And then we have different kinds of classes like yoga and um, a dog teaching us about butterflies. That's happening on Thursday. Mm, so, so cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's it on my end, but I'm interested to hear a little from you. Take it off, get the get the words flowing. What inspired you to to get involved with Sierra Club and and uh, what are you gonna what are you gonna be up to this Earth Month? Yeah, um, well, uh, my mother was like a Sierra Club member years ago when I was a little kid, and she had a sticker in the window, and I didn't know what it meant or what it was until I got older, and then I. And then after that, I saw Sierra Club on Instagram, and I'm like, I gotta follow you. And the and then we just started. The gram made the connection. <laughs> and then um and then you guys, I reached out. I was like, Hey, can I help with something? Can I help work work like do any collaboration with you all? Because you guys, is, you all do such good work. Marta Nicia, Hootie Grip, what's up? Um and just with you, just with that connection, we started. Uh, you all reached out to me and said, hey, could you promote something? Uh, I think it had to do with like polar bears or uh, climate change. And then since then, we've just been in connection. And like, and I think this is our eighth workshop we've done. So yeah. And like awesome. here, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Thank you. It's been so good. It's getting me to hang out with people while I'm like stuck in my house during all this craziness. So it's been such a good uh, just release even to share and just like get people inspired and thinking about like artwork when they wouldn't. And just even like uh, Jessica, her son is now into artwork. One of uh, another Sierra Club member is really. So it's just cool to just like the little like little pin drops, you know, the little pin drops of what we can do to kind of like help me change so you know just from our house yeah. on the phone so, yeah. with one another too yeah <laughs> for sure do you have any earth month plans um i have uh well, i mean i feel like earth month is like every day you know but um not really just excited to do these workshops and i have another one in spanish uh coming up as we mentioned and um all the most to draw and um and i think uh i would i'm trying to release some stickers so i'm trying to release some earth month stickers so everybody pay attention let's see if i can get my get my stuff together but other than that just you know for, uh being thankful for nature and just like, doing my everyday yoga maybe in some nature or something you know perfect <laughs> perfect all right yeah. well I'll let you get to drawing. I'm going to get to drawing so I can add to my, my wall of fame. <laughs> but thank Ooh. you for, for hosting this. And if anyone has questions, feel free to drop them in the uh, chat and we can answer them. And thank you all for being part of our, our Earth Month celebration. Happy oh. Earth. Okay, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Okay, so I'll see you later. Okay, everybody. So thank you all for taking the time to listen and be part of that talk. Uh, that was just real cool to share with, with Jenny. Um, so I'm going to just show you the little illustration that I have made 
for, of what we're going to do today to kind of give you a side idea of, um, of the drawing. So we're going to do this turtle. Uh, this is a digital illustration I did. So this is a turtle kind of in the ocean, the earth, and some um, like a nice little rainbow popping in the back. You know, just to spread love and share the colors and just like um, keep it happy. So, saludito, Marta, Guache, what's up? So good to see you all. Que bueno verte. Ah, casa, say what's up, what's up? Um, so let me just turn my music up a little bit more because my music is down right now. Can yeah. Okay, so everybody, do you have your um, pencils and papers? Bogota, graffiti, shout out, bop, bop. And your pencils, uh, Sharpie marker, pencil, um, eraser, and sharpener if you need it. Um, oh, Asuka, I miss you too. When do we hang? When do we hang out? Hopefully soon. Um, okay, so I'm going to start getting the drawing going. Uh, once again, you want to get a little idea of what it'll look like, okay? So I'm going to pull the, the camera close, so give me a second as I set up, and then we can start drawing. So everybody get your supplies, and oh, did I mention paper? Get your paper out, and uh, shout out to everybody again that's, that's part of this. Cool, HP in the house, that Musa? What? Or maybe that's Moose, I don't know. Okay, cool. So let's see if I can, um, if you guys can see what's going on here in a little, in a little studio office. Is that viewable? Is that viewable? Cool. Okay, so we have first our pencil and our sketch, which I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. So first we're gonna start with the turtle. Um, or maybe we'll do this little, uh, we're gonna do just kind of like a little Easter egg shape going around like that. Is that visible? So let's do a little, it's kind of like a little Easter egg shape. And if I'm going too fast, um, let me know. But I want to make sure that we got enough time to go through the whole sketch. Um, within but before eight o'clock okay so here is we're gonna make the shell the shell of our turtle which is probably like um kind of like another kind of egg kind of shape circling egg shape kind of something like that everybody got that and my technique is always not to draw too too hard you know <clears throat> and then don't forget we, it does not have to be perfect and the drawing that I make, you don't have to do it like I'm doing it, you know? It can, you can do it uh, in any shape or form, any, you can change it up, you can put the turtle on the top or on the bottom, you know? So there's just the main turtle shape, cool. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're gonna make the turtle head. So the head is gonna be right here. This is kind of like a, almost like a little triangle shape. Something like this, something kind of like that. Maybe it's too big, but it's okay. All right, so there's a turtle head. And what we're gonna do is after, we're gonna go over with Sharpie, okay? Like this. So first we're gonna do our drawing and with the pencil, and then we go in the sharp, with the Sharpie. All right, and now we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the, um, the fin. I can never remember uh, exactly what this part of the turtle is called. It's the fin, right? The flipper, the flipper. I believe, maybe I'm totally wrong. And then we add another one on this side, which is kind of like this, um, you know, it's kind of like a, what would you call that? Like popsicle, popsicle shape or something like that. All right, and then we're gonna come over here and then add, somebody's texting me what they're trying to text. And then add another, the bottom, the bottom foot, let's just call it the foot. And add another bottom foot right here. And then kind of like this, okay? Cool, so these are smaller, these are a little bit bigger. Cool, and then we'll put the tail in. That's pretty easy, right? Is that hard? You guys doing okay? Uh, can you, yep. <laughs> okay, 
just reading the comments as I draw. I have to like look down like this to like look at the comments. <laughs> um, so what have you guys been up to? How is everybody doing? Man, this COVID stuff is wild, right? Seriously, <clears throat> not COVID's not cool, man. Um, okay, so we got the turtle. My turtle head is a little bit big, but it's okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some waves in here, and the waves can kind of be whichever way you want. So um, I'm just gonna put some waves in here. This is like the water is flowing. And I kind of just have it flow off the body. Kind of like that, right? Um, like this. And then, so it's just like flowy waves. You know, it's just trying to go with nature. Let nature, like, <clears throat> let nature guide, you know? It doesn't have to be too perfect. You know, it's just kind of going with the flow, right? Okay, and here I'll show you guys again kind of what the illustration looks like. Cool. Nemo, what's up? All right. All right. So um, now I'm going to bring, just keep on, I'm keeping on adding these waves. And see, one can kind of, that kind of touches the tail. I'm going to have another one kind of maybe come out of the tail or maybe come from here out you know all right cool 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 i think we're doing pretty good maybe one more one out here so we have kind of this flowy kind of thing going on um and and then we add like a little bit of lines inside of the fin or the the foot the flipper flipper i'm going to add some of the lines right over here is that music too loud Turn it down. Okay, and then we're gonna add another little line in the in the flipper. If you can kind of see that. Is that am I going too fast? Is that cool? Nemo. <laughs> um all right, great. Uh all right, so we're gonna bring another little line right up in here. Just some little details, little extra details in in the turtle. Now let's not forget the turtle eye. I feel like this drawing is pretty simple. Let me know if you think this drawing is real hard or it's complex. It's good. It'd be good to hear your feedback. Okay, so there we pretty much have our turtle kind of looking to the side, floating through the water. Um, we have, we're gonna put the planet inside the turtle shell right in here. The planet, planet Earth is gonna go right up in here because they, uh, they call like North America has another name for it um, in like native traditions uh, and it's called uh, Turtle Island. So I always like to kind of represent and pay homage just, just like uh, this other form of like, um, just like um, this beautiful storytelling and, uh, and just way of sharing knowledge through native communities and I love their idea on their philosophy on Turtle Island. Like Turtle Island is where everything came from. Like the turtle saved, pretty much saved. Um, I can't remember exactly the whole story, but everything kind of came from Turtle Island. That makes sense. So anyway, so I'm representing this turtle. So I'm gonna put the globe inside of this turtle shell, which is kind of like very kind of um, like when you're putting a. Uh, when you're putting in your own continents or something, feel free to do as you please. Oops. Um, there we go. So there, uh, I'm just gonna kind of do my own style for it, but feel free to do your own style. It doesn't need to be perfect or anything. Okay, I'm just gonna put in the North America. And then put in South America. And it just needs to be kind of any any kind of basic shape. It doesn't need to be perfect. And do as you please as far as like where you want to place the continents. Um, so we just keep on going through here. 
So how is everybody doing today? What did you guys do? Do you have plans for Earth Day? Um, do you all celebrate Earth Day? Is Earth Day every day? For who is Earth Day every day? Those are my people right there. For who is Earth Day every day? Let me know. And if it's, Earth Day is not every day for you, hey, yeah, it's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> At least it's one day, you know? At least maybe one day you can celebrate Earth. You know, the land that we walk on, the air that we breathe. I mean, come on. Why would we not celebrate Earth Day, you know? Um, so any, any, <clears throat> the one that, yeah. <laughs> cool, so I have my little cousins over here. They, uh, they really like my art. So they're over here. What's up, Miguel? Are you doing good? You still wearing my hat? Cool, I'm happy. Okay, so now we're gonna do the rainbow. Miguel, did you get the turtle? Did you get the turtle? Every day, Marta Alicia. Yeah. King Leo. Oh, yeah. Earth Mover. What? Yes. Every day. Every day. Heck yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to do the, um, <clears throat> we're going to do the rainbow. Okay, everybody ready for the rainbow? Pretty simple. With some clouds on the bottom and then the rainbow popping up out. And we have some of the clouds in the background. And then we'll start coloring it in. So how much time are we? Okay, we're at 721. We're doing good. Cool. All right, so I'm going to drop these clouds in here. And the clouds are just kind of like bubbles, <clears throat> you know? Like the big old, drop the big old bubbles. All right. Kind of like that. Something kind of like that. If you know, if you haven't noticed, I always like to put clouds in my artwork, um, just to kind of like pay respect, you know, pay respect to the to the gods of the sky and the and the and as I say, the air we breathe and the the rain that falls on us. I mean, everybody gets mad when it's raining. Oh, it's raining! No, what the rain is so good, you know? We need the rain for the trees. Come on now. We need the rain for it. I mean, I know you guys like to eat apples. I know you like to eat corn. I know you like to uh, sit in the grass every once in a while. Well, if you do, we need that rain. All right, anywho. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put in the, the, um, the, the rainbow now. Cool, see that? I got the rainbow going right there. So I'm going to drop the rainbow up top. And that's pretty much just like a nice, simple arch. Like this. Marta Alicia, I know <clears throat> if you're drawing or not, I know whatever you're doing, you're crushing the competition. My friend Marta Alicia, she is like uh like such a good person. And she asked me like she got me to start doing live painting when I lived in New York. She was like, Federico, you wanna live paint? And that's pretty much just like painting in front of like a in front of a crowd, you know, at a party or for an event. And she's like the she's like the bomb. She's like the best live painter ever. So she is on online right now. She's just like <clears throat> I'm really honored to have her know her as a friend and have her visiting, you know. So dope, Martha. We got to paint again. Remember we painted about three years ago. That was mad fun, remember? Um Water is Life, brother. I love rain. Yeah, water is fire. That's what's up. <laughs> Y'all so funny. Nefty power. <laughs> All right, so we have that. Now we're going to put, like, just drop some clouds up in here. Bop, 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 bop. We're going to cloud right here. I don't even know clouds. More just, like, representing the sky in the back, you know? Because we need to have the sky. Um... That's what I love about my art. It's just like a, a way I can appreciate nature. You know, I can show my appreciation through nature with my art. And it just really helps keep me fulfilled, you know, because like um, it's one way, it's the main way I know how to express myself. Sometimes I might be kind of quiet and to myself, but when I draw, it's like my 100% like honesty will come out, you know, and like I can do whatever I want. So so dope that I can draw and share my art with y'all, with everybody. Okay, so I got my Sharpie. Are you guys ready to do some line work? Yeah, can you send me a shirt one day? 
Okay. Yeah, Miguel, let me know, man. I got, I got you, brother. I got you, brother. I mean, what size are you? Let me know what size you are. I got one small shirt, Miguel. If you are small, I got you, man. Um, okay. Uh, so we're going to start going on this line work with a Sharpie marker. Are you guys ready? Okay. If you're ready or not, here I come. So this is pretty much how I do a lot of my illustration work. Uh, or in the beginning, I did a lot of it just with pencil and Sharpie. And I would use another marker called a Micron, which is a little smaller, finer detail marker. And I would just do all my illustrations like that. And now I have the iPad, and I can just do it all here. Which maybe it's good for nature, maybe it's not. I'm not sure, because, you know, using the iPad creates extra waste, and, you know. But um, the iPad, I love my iPad. So I'm just going through here right now, trying to channel my Bob Ross. For all you that know Bob, Bob Ross, big shout out to Bob Ross. Um, so I'm just going over all my line work with the Sharpie marker. And then once I'm done with this, then I'm gonna, uh, once I'm done with the Sharpie marker, then I'm gonna go with my color pencil. Cool. Okay. Uh, so I'm just still going through this. Um, big shout out to everybody out there in the in the virtual world, in the real world. Um, when you're done with this drawing, please like share it and hashtag Team Sierra and hashtag Maspas and hashtag. There's another hashtag Earth Day. Give us a shout out Earth Day hashtag. Um, but I would love to see what you did and see how it worked. There's all the different styles that everybody's creating. I'd love to see all that. Um, so, yeah, please. Okay, so I'm going around my turtle. I think we're doing good with timing. So I'm just going to keep going with the foot. My One of my friends is online right now. He has a tattoo shop. Uh, Electric Cat Scratch here in Washington, D.C. That's where I'm coming. I'm actually, I live in Arlington, but it's like right next to Washington, D.C. So he is coming from me. He's a, He has a tattoo shop called Electric Cat Scratch. Everybody should check them out. They're the best tattoo shop in D.C., best people in D.C. Big shout out, Brian. So good to see you. Nemo, I see you out there. What's up? Nemo told me that uh, he was going to do his workout today. He's going to start working out. So let's see if they did that. I'm going to say they didn't do that. Oh, just kidding, Nemo. Um, okay, so I'm just, see the turtle coming together. Not really exactly like this one, but, you know, it's cool. It's all right. So I'm going to keep on dropping these little design patterns. Okay, let's do the uh, Mother Earth. What's everybody talking about? Okay. Oh, I'm thankful. I'm happy this very calming. <clears throat> Brian, what's up? Yeah, so you don't have to use you don't have to use um, colored pencils if you don't want to. You can use uh, crayons, sharpie marker, any kind of whatever. You can paint this thing. You know, we should paint it one time. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna keep dropping these lines. So I'm gonna go in and do the continents now. I'm gonna do North America. Boom. Are you guys? Are you all? Um, are you behind? You guys are probably all ahead of me and done. Um, let me know. But like I said, I would love to see what you create. So if you want to post it on your stories, or just post it on your feed, that would be awesome. And tag me so I can see it. Uh, and especially if you're working with your little kids or something, it's so cool to see all the little kids working out there, doing the designs and getting their drawing on. <clears throat> Because, you know, sometimes, like, uh, you know, kid, we don't get enough time to get a drawing on, you know? If we're a kid or an adult, you know, we were, as a kid, we always drew, right? So, like, why why do we stop drawing? Um, anyway, here we go. Um, so, still dropping in the lines. <clears throat> now, as you can see, these lines are kind of thin. In my illustration, can you see that? In my illustration, the lines are thicker. 
So, and some are thinner. See that? So, um, as you go through with the illustration, you can thicken up some of the lines, you know, especially like the turtle or the outline of the water right here, or like the clouds, you know, depending on the weight. The weight kind of gives it the pop. Cool. So just to make sure we have enough time, I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to keep going and coloring this. Uh, I'm just going to keep outlining this thing real quick. I'm going to keep outlining and then... Um, and then if we have more time, I'll give it a, a bolder outline. But for right now, let's just like cover this in. So um, I guess, yeah, do you, uh, did I, I did already ask about Earth Day. Um, but yeah, I guess, are you all gonna celebrate, do you all celebrate Earth Day normally? Miguel, do you celebrate Earth Day? Does anybody have Earth Day plans? There's uh, April 22nd coming up. Here in DC, there's normally this uh, graffiti jam. Um, but I don't think it's gonna, I'm not sure if that's happening. I think there is talks of a graffiti jam, like a painting jam, but I feel like it may not happen. We'll see. Uh, and normally that's always during around Earth Day. But um, I definitely know I'm gonna go for a walk and I got a canoe, so maybe I'll hit up the canoe and try to do some river cleaning. What? If I do that, I'll let y'all know. That would be dope. That would be really a lot of fun if I could get my butt out there and do that. That would be awesome. Um, okay, so I pretty much filled in all of this. How's everybody doing? Okay, yours is, oh, you're small? Okay. Uh, I love this peace of mind. <laughs> oh, using postures. Okay. Um, hey, Danette, what's up? Am I missing anybody over here? Love that. So many ways to honor Pastor Mama. Yeah, so cool. Yo, Will, what's up? What's up? Cool, 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 cool. Loving all the comments, man. Keep on dropping some comments. Let me hear, what, let me hear from y'all. Okay, so I'll just give a quick uh, quick sample of what it looks like to kind of make these lines a little bit bolder. I won't do it there, actually, but I'll do it here. So I just kind of give it a double line. I'm gonna move the paper. Sometimes it helps if you guys move the paper. Like that. Cool. See how that kind of already pops out? So I could do that for the turtle. Give it a little pop out. Anybody got any good favorite colors out there? What are your favorite colors, everybody? Anybody got, I think mine, mine is like neon green, straight up. Or maybe, yeah, neon green is pretty much my favorite color. Got like hot green, like a nice sticky, sticky green. That's my favorite color. What favorite color you guys got? I bet we I bet we got some pinks in there, maybe some blue people. Any blue people out there? Any uh sky blue, North Carolina blue? Nah, I don't think anybody would. maybe who you never know. <laughs> uh you got any uh hot pink people? Ooh, uh, I'm kind of a hot pink person. I'm definitely a hot pink person, for real. Okay, so see how that kind of pops out? Making the lines a little bit bolder. I'm just gonna do a little bit more and then we'll start coloring in. And then when we're done coloring, then we can go back and like make the lines a little bit bolder, you know? So that helps kind of pop out the turtle. So I'll just do that for the turtle. Pop out the turtle a little bit. Okay, and I also like to kind of give these little accents. See that? See that? I'm gonna do that over here. Give these little accents right here. Kind of makes the shape a little bit more circular, you know? See that? See that? I'm doing my landscape, yeah. Okay, what else? Any other comments up in here? Purple, yes. 
Olive green. Okay, hot pink. Yeah, the net. Green in the house. Fuchsia in the house. What? Cobalt blue. I'm feeling that cobalt blue, definitely. Burnt orange. What? What's you? Wash off, Poppy. Let's try to do something before or after. Yeah, let's canoe, brother. I got you. Let's do that. Uh, <laughs> let's try a link. Okay. 20, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm down. I'm down, um, Sivo. Let's do that, brother. Canoe it. What? Okay. See, see how much fun this is. I already got my canoeing plans down for um for the twenty second. So if anybody's trying to go canoeing on the twenty second, hit me up, and we'll go. There's a spot over here in DC where you can rent canoes. So if you want to do that? Um, let me know. Let's do that. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm all, I'm done. I'm done with the turtle, the main part, let's just say. Now let's grab some colors. Yeah. Grab some colors. And uh, now you got some colors in any way you like. I'm going to just go with this color scheme. This is a little funky kind of color scheme. Um, but feel free to do whatever you please, okay? So first, I'm just going to start doing... Um, oh, I forgot these lines. I put these lines right here. There's a few of the lines that kind of connect, make the kind of like uh, latitude and longitude. Like that. And help kind of like uh, add some color in there. Okay, cool. All right, so that, the cool thing about these uh, colored pencils is that we can go really dark or we can go really light. So I think this is like purple. So you can go kind of light, and then you can add colors on top. So I'm just going to kind of start going in here. <clears throat> Feel free to grab any color you want. You don't have to use the colors I'm using. Miguel, you doing okay, brother? You doing all right? You're going to have to show me your drawing when we're done, okay? Um, so there's that kind of like a blue. I was looking for a purple. Where's my purple? Um, anyway, I'm going to go. Danette, here I'm a, I got some orange for you. Danette said that she likes burnt orange. Okay, okay, Danette. I see you. You know your colors. People in, and what oh somebody else said cobalt blue. Okay. I got my color crew over here. My Sierra Club color crew. Spitting out all the colors left and right. All right. And got the somebody said fuchsia too. What? Okay, fuchsia. Get it. Oh, I want to give a big shout out to my um my homie uh Birdo who is in the hospital. He probably doesn't want me to say anything, but he's in the hospital. He's doing good. He had to have like emergency surgery, but he's good though. He called me right after his surgery. He said, hey man, I had to have emergency surgery. So I just want to give a shout out to him. Uh, let him know that, you know, <clears throat> thinking about him and, you know, he says he should be out tomorrow. So like big love. And I hope you're out soon, brother, for real. Um, that's my boy. Okay, so we're putting in orange. Bomb. Now, I'm going light, but you can go dark. Look, see what happens when I go dark? See that? See that cool kind of contrast you can do? Go real dark and then kind of fade it. So that's a lot of fun. So look, and then I can go like that, and I can add in some red on the other side. That's kind of burnt Sierra, burnt, burnt orange. No, is that what you said, uh, Danette? I'm sorry. Yeah, you said burnt orange. Is that kind of that's kind of becoming the burnt orange a little bit? Yes, no, maybe so, maybe. Anyway, see that's some flavor. If you can kind of see that, see that fade. Yeah, cool. What are you guys all talking about? Oh man, I'm sorry. I hope he's doing well. I hope your brother-in-law is doing well. Uh, much love to everybody. Magenta, yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Purple, pink, yellow. <laughs> so much fun okay um all right so we're gonna jump in and we're just gonna do some blue now i forgot to sharpen this one right here but it's okay so i'm gonna just drop in some blues over here for our water and i try to switch it up okay i got that blue and then i got another blue i try to just switch up the areas of color. Okay. 
Instead of filling it all one blue, I'm gonna have different blues going on here. Oh look, oops, I forgot to forgot to get this little spot right here. Um okay, so I'm gonna keep on filling in blue. Just jumping around here. And like I said, I'm going really light. But that's the fun thing about colored pencils. You can go really dark and you can go really light. Just to kind of get the idea. And I'm going to drop in another little more blue over here. Just jumping in. Just dropping in the shapes. So where is everybody um, coming from? I think we have people from El Salvador. I think we have people in Boston. Maybe Colombia. I don't know. Maybe Colombia. Maybe not. Um, de donde, de donde vienen? De donde llaman? Where's everybody coming from? Give me a shout out. Let me know where you're coming from. I'm here in Arlington, Virginia. About like, um, I say like a 20 minute bike ride to the White House. You know, not like I really want to go there, but just to let you guys know, like, that's where I am. Just have to ride my bike over the bridge or drive, but I've been riding lately, so I got my bike back. Yeah. Um, so where are you Where are you all coming from? What town? What city? I think we got Washington, D.C., Los Angeles. What? Texas? Florida? What? Um, Silver Spring, Arlington, yep, Arlington. Anybody from Arlington just wins like a hundred points. North Carolina, Portland, Northern California, Colombia, yeah, uh, Salcedo, baby, Indiana, Ontario, India, India. What? I think India won so far. Wow, that really wow, that's awesome. What part of India? Okay, how much time do we have? Okay, so we're starting to kind of running, not running too low, but let's just jump through these colors. I'm just starting to fill in, changing up my blues, putting in different blues all over the place. You know, so we got different kind of blue colors. Oops, kind of went over there. So while you, um, I'm just going to jump through here, go fast. Um, but when you are all done, or when I'm done, when the time is up, you all can just keep on drawing and and working on it. And when you're done, feel free to please share it with me, you know, at Maspas and at Sierra Club. And if you are stoked on the T-shirt, on the flat T-shirt that we have, they're for sale, helping to go support projects just like this and other projects throughout the, um, throughout the world, really. Sierra Club is like, constantly doing good stuff so like if you haven't checked out their website website is way cool and i really respect what they're doing it's a lot of fun okay so that was like a purple i'm just finishing up this water area not doing such a good job so please excuse me but like i say here what's this do with this little area right here we we'll just give it some flavor we got the blue on top and now i'm gonna put a darker blue on top and we're gonna fade it, fade it out. Kind of give it that texture, you know? I'm gonna take it over here, fade it out. Cool, right? Take it over here, fade it out, fade it out. Fade it out, boom, okay. Now we have one more cover to go. Oh, I dropped my cover right there. Okay, I got my color back. Okay, so we got one more. I'm gonna fill this this little area in real quick. Cool. Filling that area in, and then we got this area in. So see how it's just like I kind of alternated the colors. So kind of like uh, you know, it gives it a nice little balance of like flow. I think, like I said, I'm kind of running through this, but when you take your time, it can really pop out. You know, you can't rush art. You know, sometimes clients hit me up, they're like, hey, I need it now. And I'm like, 
Sorry, man. You cannot rush this art. Take your time with it, you know? And when you take your time with it, you people can tell. They're like, wow, that really came out good. You took your time. You really worked hard with this. But sometimes you can do stuff real fast, so it's a balance. Okay. So let's get some colors in the turtle. I'm just going to use some, some greens. Turtles are not always green. They're kind of brown. They can be white. They can be yellow. Um, they can be... They can be black. Uh, so just to kind of keep things moving, I'm going to use green, but you can use any colors you want. You can make a future turtle if you want, you know? It's all up to you. There's no rules to this art. No rules. And there's really no rules to anything. And I know, like, I get caught up with that stuff, just feeling like there's always a rule to, to this or that, but there's really no rules to it. Especially this art. I do know that there's no rules to this art. So I just like, it, it's very liberating to just know that, you know, I can create whatever I want, you know, and you can too. So feel like when it comes to this art, if you can create with the freedom and not worrying about anybody else, is, you know, freedom of expression, if you can do that, and then you can put that ideal, the idea into your lifestyle. That's what I'm working on. That's my goal these days. <laughs> but uh, I'm just trying to color in these turtle right now, you know? Just trying to keep it easy. What are you guys saying right here, over here on the gram? Anybody say anything? Que belleza, Dani. Diana, hola. I uh, love the turtle. New York, Connecticut, Washington, Leesburg, Rhode Island. Cool. Okay. <laughs> oh my little cousin subscribes to my youtube channel i'm so honored okay so um i'm gonna put a little bit more color in here okay we have 13 more minutes so we're doing good um i'm looking for purple but i can't find purple okay i think this might be purple there's a purple so once again here is the final sketch you know, there's the final sketch, so you can get an idea. You know? Puro talento. Ah, oh, gracias. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Thank you. So there's a sketch, so I'm just trying to wrap that up. And like I said, that's a digital sketch. You know, it's a digital sketch. Um, which kind of helps me work faster, but... Here we're doing the real deal, the real one by hand. Okay, so we're just getting these colors in here, a little purples, and then like I was saying, you can fade it. Do the fade, you know? Diana, where's uh, Isaias? Where's he? He playing music right now? ¿Qué está haciendo Isaias? ¿Para dónde está? No quise participar, no? <laughs> No mentira. Um, okay, cool. So putting the colors in there. Now we're gonna do the cloud. Okay, so I'm gonna add some. The clouds have some grays in here. Some grays. So I'm gonna put some gray in there. Oh, look at this. Uh, it's about to fall out, but I'm gonna keep it in there. So I'm just putting in the grays real quick. Okay. And then putting in some gray. I made a circle right here. So I was putting in little sections, you know, little sections of gray, not the whole thing. Just like that. Okay. Cool. So that's just a little quick dabble of gray. And then, oh, my pen fell out. Now I'm going to use a little bit of black to kind of give it a little bit of, oh, maybe I put too much, you know? Just a little highlight, you know, something kind of like that. Okay, for a rainbow, let's go with a nice popping red. I wish I had fuchsia. 
if I had Fuchsia, that would be awesome. So is everybody using crayon? I mean, uh, colored pencils, are people using markers? Are you using color? Uh, I cannot talk right now. Um, people using crayons, colored pencils, markers. Is there anything else? Conte crayons. What are you all using right now? Is anybody painting it? I know some people have done digital. Anybody doing digital right now? That's always cool. Oh, yes. I'm going to put yellow in. Ah, uh, so for NBC. Okay. Ah, dile que regresa a la casa. Y por qué no quiso participar, ¿no? Dile que Federico está bravo con él. No mentiras. Okay, so I'm putting in the yellow of the rainbow. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm going to put in the blue for the rainbow, which we have been using. I'm going to pick a nice cobalt blue. This one is actually called blue. <laughs> so I'm putting this blue right here. Okay, so we pretty much got a rainbow slightly. And like I said, you can give it some effects. Give it some effects, you know, like this. Like that, yeah. Give it some effects, yeah. You know, put in some fade. This is something simple, easy, easy breezy. I'm gonna put a little orange in the yellow. Fade it, you know. A little orange in there. Fade it out. Fade it out. Normally, I would be moving my paper around a lot. <clears throat> but just to kind of let you all see it from one perspective, I'm not going to move it. I can work better if I move the paper around. Let's see the little fade. Okay, Brian, I know this is not as good as what you would do, but, you know, I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. I know you are the master tattoo artist. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You got me, you got me here. You got me under pressure over here. Just joking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just like adding a little bit of detail. So you can do something like that to this area. Now I'm going to sharpen my pencil. We have uh, seven more minutes. I'm going to sharpen my pencil. And then just put a little bit more gray in these clouds. Some light gray. Really light. You know, something kind of like that. And like I said, please excuse me for being quick, you know, but we can take all the time. You can take all your time later and just really go in on the detail. Right. Um, so that's pretty much it. I know <clears throat> the colors are not as popping, but that's when we start adding the color in there. Start really adding that color in there. <clears throat> See that? See that, Miguel? Add the color in there, and then we put maybe some yellow on top of that. Ooh, yeah. I'm talking about yellow. I forgot to put yellow in the eye. Okay, cool. So, let's see. What are people saying? Watercolor pencils, paint sticks. What? Alcohol markers? What is that? Okay. Color pencils, crayons. Okay. Please, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> I wish I had Fusion 2 now. Prisma colors. Oh, Prisma colors are the bomb. Whoever's rocking those Prisma colors, you know what you're doing. Not like me with Crayola. I'm over here with Crayola color pencils. What am I doing? I got these color pencils at Giant. But hey, they work good. Okay, so look, I got some color in there. I think the earth, how much time do we have? I think the, the earth could probably have some more color up in here. So maybe just go in there a little bit more. Con colores. Echate tu colores. Put in some color up in there. So don't forget next week, same time, same channel. Um, I'm going to do this in Spanish. 
So for all my Latino people, or all my Spanish speakers, all my people that are practicing Spanish, all those people that just want to do a workshop again with me, we're going to do another illustration, a different illustration in Spanish. So uh, come on. Uh, that is the, uh, the 13th, I think, next Tuesday. I'm not sure. Um, okay, cool. So I'm just like trying to pop in some colors here. Not doing a very good job. It's just popping in some color here and there. But it's fun, you know? It's fun just seeing where, where we can take it. You know, just seeing where we can add texture. One of my art teachers used to say mark making. Doing mark making. What kind of mark making do you have? You know, the mark making adds like lots of flavor. What kind of mark making are you putting in there? You know, kind of giving it some, some flavor coming through. Okay. Like I said, this is about having fun. Maybe I didn't say that yet. <laughs> but we got to do this to make sure we're having fun. I mean, I know sometimes it's much easier said than done. But that's what we need to do in life. We just got to have fun, man. And it's not easy. I know I've, I've struggled, you know, and I'm working on just trying to make sure I'm having fun at all times. But, you know, doing this class really helps me. It's just like, I don't know, I just feel like a human being when I'm doing this class. <laughs> I just like, uh, I just, I guess I can talk to people and, and it's just like, I get to hear you guys back through the chat, which is like so much fun. I don't know. I love it. Whoa. Okay, so just pushing and pulling. I think this could have another little cover. Maybe like, maybe we could give it like a really, really light blue up in here. You know, really light blue. That can get worked on. Maybe another light blue. No, just like kind of, you know, put that in there. Um, and like I said, if you want, start going back over with the Sharpie marker and outlining. Sorry for the loud helicopter in the back. So you start outlining stuff. Outline the rainbow. Wow. There we go. Outline the rainbow. That did not come out that good. Outline the rainbow. I was going to do a quick little outlining of the rainbow. Sorry for moving the paper. Boom. Oh, that looks ugly right here. Wow. There we go. We're outlining the rainbow. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, all my Earth Day people, thank you so much for coming through. Like I said, I'm not really done, but keep working on your sketch. Keep going through. Keep just adding colors to it, touching it up like I'm doing. I still got a lot of more work to do. Um, I like to add my touch these up right here, you know? And then I just kind of do this, like that little kind of like little curvy thing. I like to add that curvy thing to it right there. See, it starts to, it starts to kind of pop it out. Okay. Whoa. We're about to run out. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. So good to see you. I hope you uh, had fun. Please post your drawing. Hashtag Earth Day. Thank you, Sierra Club. Y'all are the best. I can't wait to look through all the comments. And I hope to see you all soon. And please share your post. Um, just spreading mad love. And please share Mother Earth with your friends and family. And drop that fuchsia colors. And um, keep drawing. And maybe I'll see you next week, next Tuesday, for uh, our next session. Um, thank you all. I think we're about to close out. Have a great day. If you have any questions, comments, please write me. Eh, saludito a, la, a mi familia colombiana. Y ahí andamos hablando. Much love. Much, many peace and blessings. Happy Earth Day. Get yourself a nice t-shirt. Thank you, Sierra Club. Ciao.